to back out seven vehicles and sat in the middle of the road taking a shit in front of all of them. <laughs> and he was just, they were honking, they were like, what? He's like, I'm taking a shit. And there he sure the hell was. So they're taking I mean, a shit. Do you want to tell them about uh, yours? What, you. you mean shit between the tires and rolling over it after I threw toilet paper on it? <laughs> oh. I drove a five-head dump truck? Oh, that doesn't sound fun. All, all this while 101, 101 MLRS rockets were going off. <laughs> after they woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning for that shit. Oh, fuck. I, I did have one day where we had a rocket come in uh, at us while we were on a fob. We, uh, no alarms or anything because it was a smaller far, smaller fob. And I just looked up. You know how sometimes you see a football coming after you and you think it's coming right down right there but ends up, like, going way over there? Yeah. Okay. Same concept. I looked up. I saw the rocket. The rocket took a beeline down towards me. Man, I, I fell completely in the dust. I thought I was dead. I thought this was going to be it. I fell into the, the moon dust and covered my head and just hoped for the best. And then about 10 seconds later, because I did, you know, I just froze up. 10 seconds later, it, it hit and it didn't even hit inside the fob. It must have hit like a quarter mile away from me. Right? Wow. And then after the boom went off, everybody comes running outside. And the only fucking thing they see is Private Joe, Smuff Joe Snuffy outside with moon dust all over his face. I look like... I was I was all freaking brown from the moon dust that was all over me, and they're just laughing their asses off when they see me. That's all they saw. They didn't see the rock. <laughs> I mean, I would have laughed too. Oh yeah, no, I was laughing. It was funny. It was the, the first time the we laughed in a while. Was, uh, after we got back, after cause we left, we were in. Uh, uh, what was it? We went through Saudi, Iraq, and Kuwait, and left um, a few days into May. So when we got back, we had a like a re return parade or whatever. Yeah. And the battalion commander liked me so much that I was the front person for my company. Oh shit! Corner person. You know, there were a couple other, a couple people to, a little taller than me. He made. I was the. Uh, the guide on for my company. No, that's 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 awesome, dude. Yeah. I never really stood out like that. Oh, don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes. This is the cutout is fine. There's no way you can climb down though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, the cutout is okay. Got it? Got it? Boom! Thousand dollar house, okay? And I pay down 50 grand. You can choose to refinance the house back. You paid off 50 grand. So now now you owe $150,000 on the house. So what a lot of people tend to do is they refinance. They refinance and they take out a loan for the full amount of the house. And then use the 50 grand to improve house. This is what it means a lot of times when you refinance. I'm going to refinance. I'm going to refinance to lower the payment. You can refinance to lower the payment or you can refinance to improve the house. If you can improve the house, then you can sell the house for a higher amount of money than what you have the loan for. So let's let's say let's say I, I put like a back porch. I don't know how to spell porch, so just bear with me. Let's say I make a back porch and that adds twenty thousand dollars to the house. Right? It's a really nice back porch. Let's just let's just say that. It's a really nice back porch. 
and now it adds twenty thousand dollars. That means that I can go to the market and sell that house for two hundred and twenty grand. So I make twenty thousand dollars profit. Right? This is this is how people will will buy and sell houses and make a profit off of doing improvements. Let's say I did the improvement myself, right? And 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 I took that 50 grand, I pocketed 30, spent 20 grand on on improving it. So then I make $50,000, right? It just depends on on how you work your finances. This is stuff they don't teach you in school, and they really should be teaching in school. But this I find is the best way right here is the best way if so think about this if my payment is $800 and only 300 of it let's say it's on a 30 year loan okay 30 year loan if i if if my if the payment here is let's break it down 500 of it is interest 300 of it is to dividends is to the actual balance itself okay that means if I pay $1,200 to this, I am paying, well, we got $700 to dividends if I, if, if, if I up my payments. Just by upping it 300 bucks, I can double my payments and make the 30 year, old, 30 year loan 15 years. Right there. Right there, you have halved. You have halved the payments. That's why they tell you that your your rent or your your buying your house should be less than 50% of what you make in a month. The payment for it should be less than 50% of what you make in a month. The reason why is because if you are smart, you'll do this. Right now I can't do this. I'm going to do this. I got to refinance the house this year. My credit score when when I when I got the house loan was 650. My credit score now is in the, is in the high 700s. So it's time to refinance, get a lower interest payment. Uh, I'm gonna have a lower payment, and I'm just gonna keep the same amount of payments, the automatic payments I do every month. Do it 1,200, double my payments. I will be un, under out from under my house by the time I am 55. By the time I am 55, if I do what I just said. That means. 55 I work in IT. I can work for the rest of my life and take and take cruises once a month and and just go on vacation. I can literally work for the rest of my life doing IT. IT is not difficult. I sit in my office and and press keys on a keyboard. Right? Army is difficult. Our army broke down my knees. Like my knees are shit. <laughs> oh my god, my knees are shit. But I mean, these are things that you need to think about. It is better to buy a house that's really cheap and improve it and sell it and then make a profit and then move on to a better house. You want to go until you have a house that you're happy with. Right now I'm in a house that's five bedrooms, three baths. Mostly because the army, gave, the army backs me on the loan. I have what's called the VA loan. Which gives me a lower interest and also get, it also made it so I didn't have to do a down payment. But, I mean, this is stuff... I, I don't know. Did I lose you guys? No, I'm... I'm Nobody's scared. saying anything. <laughs> Nobody's saying you... anything. See, I'm always scared when he sends me things. Yeah, I'm, so am I. Ah, click on it. It's just... Like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We don't need to see the masturbation gift. I swear to... It is a masturbation gift. It actually is. No, you have not. Robocop coming. No! Yeah. What? Yeah, look. No! He's God. obviously nutting right now. No, he is not! Look! He's, he's literally nutting! He's dancing! Oh I my god! Nothing. Shade! Stop sending I, me masturbation gifts! I found that when he's I searched up dancing. dancing in the gifts. Uh huh, uh huh. Come on, that's that uh, yeah. gross. Awfully quiet of you, Sparky! Sparky was acting weird. Awfully quiet of you, Sparky. Goodbye, Sparky. Uh, it was nice knowing you. We will send Rooster your best. Should you masturbate too much and play too many video games? What? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. What?
What did you just say? Jen the stalker. Second of all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so, so shade, 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 shade. If I am stalking you, then the one person who knows you masturbate too much be me. <laughs> I got a I got a clue for you. There's alcohol in this, which means A, it's good at fighting COVID, and B, it keeps your teeth clean. Duh. It's alcohol. 